design thinking is one way of structurally breaking down the problem and understanding it in a deeper perspective and hopefully coming out with solutions for it as well. Hello everyone, here's wishing you a very happy Independence Day. So today we are going to talk about design thinking and using design thinking to teach or facilitate the most complex yet most important topics. If I were to facilitate a class on backlog class C, though I'm not a history teacher, I would, uh, you know, prepare a week in advance and tell, break the class down into three teams. So it would be one team would cover the British topic, uh, the British perspective. Second team would cover Siraj Dola's perspective, and the third team would cover the French perspective. You know, the class would have some sort of an idea of what, on what the Battle of Plassey uh, actually was. And when I begin with the impact, it would generate empathy. So instead of starting any particular topic with the causes of the battle, uh, it's better to start with the impact of the battle because this particular battle had huge ramifications. It literally established the British rule, set the seeds of the British rule in India. So here, uh, starting with this, talking about you know the ramifications in sort of some detail, and then going down to setting the context. That is, starting with the map of India and talking about uh, you know literally marking out the areas under British influence, areas under uh, the Dutch influence and under the French influence and other major kingdoms in the country. So when you set this as a map, right, and then set the scenes for each team to come up and talk about the reasons why they, their, you know, uh, why they actually started off with the award and why their modifications for their motivations for the board, you know, it would make more start making a lot more sense. So say the British would the British team would then come up and talk about why the British were motivated towards fighting this war. All the reasons that they can think of putting them down in the form of a map. Then would come Siraj Abdullah's perspective, then the French perspective on why they wanted to partner with a uh, former strategic alliance with Siraj Abdullah. Then you talk about the uh, the war strategy. The British war strategy, of course, they had a very small team and then they manipulated Mir Jafar, who was the head of uh, the of Siraj Abdullah's army uh, to deflect and of course Mir Jafar was a traitor. So their war strategy, Robert Clive's achievements, previous achievements and all of that. Then of course would come Siraj Abdullah's perspective, despite having a huge army with French uh, you know, backing and as well as great artillery and ammunition, they ended up using the war. The entire war maps, this is what would happen in step two when we're discussing strategy. Then of course the French alliance with Siraj Abdullah, their strategy, the third part would be impact. What was the impact of having lost that war Siraj, on Siraj Abdullah? The impact of winning that war on the British, and of course, again, the impact of losing that war on the French. So then you discuss impact in a much deeper perspective. Now, because this was a planned class, everybody was prepared, and this breaking down of the problem. Uh, would involve more participation from the class. They would be able to bring in more perspective into it. And design thinking is all about looking at a problem from various angles. Thank you. Thank you so much. I hope I've done justice to the topic I chose today. Thank you.